Hi class, today we're going to be drawing a little owl on a branch and we're going to be using black paper and a piece of chalk. First, you need to write your name on the back and don't forget your number and then you can flip it over and we can get started. You're going to draw a big letter U. So first draw it in the air to try to get the idea of where it needs to be and then you can touch the paper and actually draw the U. Then you want to draw diagonal lines going down to make the ears and then you're going to connect those lines like that. Now we're going to draw the eyes which is just two big circles And your eyes can have um, the pupil, or you can wait until later to use the colors. Then you draw a triangle for the beak. Now we're going to draw the wings, which is just a backwards letter C and a forwards letter C. And then you're going to draw a line to connect the wings for the belly. And now let's draw the feet. So the feet's just three bumps. One, two, three. Kind of like a W. One, two, three. And now we'll draw the branch. So your branch can go straight across. And then you draw another line. And if you want the branch to break off, like this into smaller branches you just make it look like a letter Y or you can add a smaller branch and then you can add leaves later. You can also draw a moon. You could do a crescent moon or you could do a whole moon. It could be a full moon that night and it's shining bright. And you can draw stars. So stars are just upside down letter V's and then it has like a line going through it, looks kind of like an A and then you connect what I call these are arms and these are legs, you're going to connect it. So from up here to down here and then up here to down here and there's your star. So cross it, connect it. And once you get a hang of it, you can just do the whole thing like that. Okay. Then we're going to start coloring with oil pastels. I've separated them into groups of colors. Please keep them separate. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you the difference between coloring just straight on the black paper and then coloring with white underneath. So if I color this wing green, Watch how it changes when I put white oil pastel first. This is not chalk, this is oil pastel. And then I put green on top. Do you see the difference? How it's almost like glowing? So it looks really good if you put if you color white first and then whatever color you want. So I'm going to do blue on this one. So I'm going to put blue on top of this white. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Once you put the color on top and blend it in, it'll fill in all the white spots. Then once you're done coloring, I want you to go back over with a different color and add texture by drawing some different kinds of lines. It could be zigzag lines, wavy lines, straight lines, any kind of lines to add texture to your drawing. Just like that. And then you just keep coloring until you've colored the whole paper. 